Now, from Into Tomorrow, this is an ITTV special report. I'm Dave Graveline, bringing you further into tomorrow from the Intel exhibit here in San Francisco and the Game Developers Conference. Our next guest is demonstrating how brainwave integration is revolutionizing video games. NeuroSky offers brain-enhanced consumer products. Vice President of Marketing and Business Development with NeuroSky is David Westendorf. David, welcome into tomorrow. How are you? Hi, Dave. It's a great time to be at GDC, isn't it? It is. A lot of excitement going on around here. You must be measuring lots of brain waves at a show like this. We've <laughs> probably had 20,000 people come through our booth and oh. have their brain waves visualized for all to see. And I, I saw a whole bunch of people yesterday walking around uh, the show floor and seeing your exhibit uh, doing something uh, with a golf ball. I mean, playing golf, it seemed, a little putt game, and yet somehow you're analyzing their brain waves. What did that have to do with anything or gaming or otherwise? Well, golf is a game, first of all, but it's a very mental game. Ah. And uh, for many, many years, training has focused on the physical aspect and the muscle memory and, and whatnot. And so what our technology that we're demonstrating shows for the first time is what is happening in the human mind at the moments before, during, and after the putt, in this case, is ah. taken. So athletics is a very important element of our technology's use, working with Olympic teams in four or five different countries around the world. Uh, but it's not video games, yeah. but uh, it's so interactive. That it, and golf is such a passionate sport for people that we thought it would be a great entree for them to, to witness our technology firsthand. And that's kind of cool. So I guess if you understand what's happening seconds before your putt, in this case, you can better manipulate the putt or you can somehow keep better concentration in, in whatever it is you're doing? Yeah, the idea is to know when not to take the putt because so uh, many people feel rushed and that yeah. causes anxiety. And the technology in its current state is a training tool and you use it in your time in the driving range or the putting green or, or what have you. And, uh, and the idea is you teach yourself what it feels like to get into the zone so that when you're on the course, you can more readily put yourself into that zone, which is so important to getting down to the scratch levels of golf. Now, for those of you who are listening on the radio, have no fear if you're driving right now or something, and we're going to show you something on the video, come by into tomorrow.com at your leisure, and you'll be able to see the things we're talking about. Uh, Andres is now showing us the, uh, the headset here that David brought with him, uh, NeuroSky MindWave. Uh, what do we learn from putting on this headset, which looks like it has a, a sensor what, for the forehead and something that might clip to the earlobe by, by this positioning here? Exactly. This is really the world's first medical EEG device that is available for consumers. We released it here at the show. It's under $100. And what it does is it brings the human body, in this case the human brain, into the video game experience. And as gamers go through their game, they put off prominent uh, mental states. And we can discern if they're paying attention, for example, or we can discern if they're in a state of relaxation. And uh, so it's not a game controller in the same way that a you know, Xbox 24 button controller is, but it's meant as more of an accent to the overall video game. And now, would this tie into a computer and run a, a piece of software that would then monitor the brainwave activity and tell us something about whatever activity we're doing? Indeed, it does. Uh, it listens to a position on the forehead, which is called FP1 in the world of neuroscience. Oh, sure. I, I knew that. Uh, yeah. I think most people do. <laughs> and sorry for stating the obvious. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, come on. Give me credit for something. <laughs> And, so and that it, would it, be the sensor here for the forehead, gotcha. It listens to the electrical signal that comes out. And as wow. you go through life, you pay attention to things and you like things and you dislike things and you fall asleep. And these are all discernible patterns that biosensor technology has become able to measure in humans. If you go to a sleep lab, for example, they would put you on a complicated medical device and measure the same signal, ours does it in a more friendly, consumer, less expensive way. Okay, now this looks like something one would find in a dungeon. Uh, it's <laughs> I'm holding up now what looks to be a, a headband of some sort, again, with other sensors. Uh, that would uh, apparently be on your forehead this for those similar brain waves? Not a medieval torture device. <laughs> this is one of our research devices. We sell to, boy, over 150 universities are doing just fantastic research in the area of Alzheimer's and uh, uh, ADHD 
and uh, cognitive loads. So you could determine if a five-year-old child had a brain tumor, perhaps. Oh, and so wow. there's fascinating research being conducted right now. And NeuroSky has been involved in a lot of this type of stuff for a long time. Gaming is just one of many things that you're one doing. One of many. Without. Yeah, we're the technology inside the award-winning Mattel MindFlex. Time Magazine last week named it one of their 100 best toys of all time. I remember we did an interview with uh, somebody from Mattel about it uh, two or three years ago at CES as, as it was have just being introduced. been able to keep it in stock. Oh, unbelievable. Now, real quick in our remaining 30 seconds, uh, here's another thing that looks like a very comfortable pair of headphones, only again in the headphone cushions, sensors. Exactly. Now, it's a pickup from our ears as well? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's exactly the case. Now, this has audio and it has a microphone, so it might be for more of an enthusiast gamer, an MMO oh, gamer. Yeah. Very cool. And, and controls here on, on the uh, headset as well for pause and, and Audio forward. Audio control, and volume, yeah. Bluetooth pairing, etc. Very cool. Well, I love the fact that the technology has certainly been evolving for quite some time. And you talk about the ability to help patients as well, Alzheimer's and otherwise. That's really amazing. I mean, that's showing how maybe some of the gaming research is paying off in the medical field in many ways, maybe some that we never thought would happen. Exactly. I hope to impress you in every GDC to come, day with new technology. Well, you're doing it, so keep it up by all means. And visit their site. You'll see the kinds of things that David and his team are up to when you visit Neurosky.com. It's N-E-U-R-O-S-K-Y, Neurosky.com. We'll get you there at intotomorrow.com as well. Thanks for spending a few minutes with us. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you.